delay the start of this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Same old question, same old answer. No. And I certainly found what I wanted. I have previously made a video about this camera when I first got it about a year and a half ago. That video was more like my first impressions on the camera. This video, however, will be more of an in-depth review of the camera after having it for a while. Also, you can check out the first video if you haven't already. I got this camera back in December of 2018 as a present from my parents for my birthday and Christmas. The main reason why I acquired this camera was because I was looking for a 35mm film camera where I can use my existing Canon lenses. For this reason, I went on a hunt and found the EOS 3 as a potential candidate but I ended getting the EOS 1B HS instead because I liked the bigger form factor of it for its looks and also the weatherproof aspect of it. The form factor of the EOS 1 VHS resembled the look of its modern siblings like the 1DX Mark III. This camera is compromised of three dedicated buttons for changing modes, autofocus, drive, and ISO. It also has two dials, the top dial for changing the shutter speed and the larger dial at the back of the camera for changing the aperture. Changing some settings to this camera could sometimes involve pressing a combination of two buttons and scrolling the dials to change the settings and a rather intuitive process than a complicated one based on my experience. There is also a dedicated LCD panel on the upper right hand corner of the camera that shows the current settings of the camera. There are also other dedicated buttons for basic functionality such as lighting up the LCD panel. The EOS 1B that I have is the EOS 1B HS like I mentioned earlier where HS stands for high speed. This includes a power drive booster E2 that houses 8 AA batteries that allow to shoot up to 7 frames per second. Using lithium batteries allow about 120 rolls while using regular alkaline batteries allow about 85 rolls of 36 exposure film. I used rechargeable AA batteries to mine that I got from Amazon just to be more cost effective and economical. There also is a dedicated NP-E2 nickel hydride battery pack that requires a dedicated charger that allows for 10 frames per second and allow about 7 rolls of 36 exposure film. I did not bother getting this because using rechargeable AA batteries suffice my needs anyway and I do not need the extra frames per second. The functionality of the EOS 1V is not far from any modern Canon DSLR such as the Canon 6D which I used to have. Only of course, the EOS 1V was made to shoot film. The autofocus of this camera has 45 autofocus points that is practically good for what it is considering this camera is 20 years old. The autofocus zones light up in red and is able to still perform in very low light situations and I have definitely tried this with both my L and non-L lenses and have no complaints at all with the autofocus system. My all time favorite combo with the EOS 1V is pairing it with the Canon 50mm f1.8 STM lens with a one quarter black pro mist filter and it definitely does not disappoint. I mostly shoot portraits with the setup. Although with other types of photography, this is still the setup I lean towards because of the lightweight configuration given the weight of the body of the camera. But I definitely reach for my zoom lenses if I need more versatility that the 50mm prime cannot do. This camera has so many pros that I can only talk so much about in this video. And those pros are its reliability, 
solid build and autofocus system. I can rely on its autofocus system and nails each shot with tack sharpness. I also like that it is weatherproof and along with my weather sealed lenses, I can do a lot with it even in harsh environment conditions. When using this camera, I know without a doubt that it will perform no matter what. Of course, a great camera is not without its cons. And those cons that I could find based on my own experience with this camera are its autofocus area selection lag and weight. Sometimes the autofocus area select mode hesitates for a small fraction of a second to nail the focus before it selects the area to autofocus on. Although this is not much of a big deal for me as practically speaking the lag is not that noticeable for me but it's worth mentioning. The weight of this camera is the other con considering the huge form factor of the camera. Also, pairing it with my zoom lenses just adds a significant amount to the total weight. The form factor of the camera and its setup is usually the deciding factor for me when casually shooting and bringing it alongside my medium format camera on a shoot. Although I am willing to accept this trade-off for what the EOS 1V can do, which most of my other 35mm film cameras are not even capable of doing. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you did pick something up and learn something out of this video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up as it helps the channel a lot. Also, if you're new here, thanks for dropping by and consider subscribing for more amazing videos in the future. Also, you guys can definitely check out my work on Instagram at AnalogVale and at Irwin Alejo. There's also another Instagram page that I run, which is called Lucid Dreams Magazine, which I use to curate works of other Instagram creators. So if you intend to submit your work, please use the hashtag visuallucidity. So until next time, stay safe. Peace.